Mr. Main Event Earl Hebner will call a first time ever highly anticipated matchup as the undefeated X Division Champion Samoa Joe will face the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Christian Cage for the first time ever and Christian has been on the receiving end of some tremendous beatings lately. He certainly has, and I'm afraid it's not going to end tonight. Champ sporting the gold so proudly, not only on his attire, but around his waist. As we mentioned, he has been on the receiving end of some vicious beatings. At the hands of the alpha male, Monty Brown, the monster of this, Christian Cage, cannot be 100% going into this match against the undefeated Samoan submission machine a man who has never tasted a pinfall or sufficient defeat in TNA. I hope this city of Palmyra, Virginia realizes just how truly lucky they are tonight to have the privilege to host this matchup. I hope they have some kind of plan in place in case of natural disaster or terrorist attack because this match is liable to tear this whole town down. Wrestling of Wrestling events, they have main events, but this is a main event. Christian pointing to the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. He wears that belt as proudly as any champion in the last 30 years had. Joe has already put his championship down. He is all business as Earl Hebner gives the instructions for this main event contest. Christian Cage is as of a traditional NWA World Champion as there have been in years. But Samoa Joe in the past several years has virtually revolutionized what a pro wrestler can be. There are superstars in different eras. You and I have talked about it off camera when the microphones weren't on. If you, were, if you grew up in the Carolinas in the 80s, you loved and respected the Rock and Roll Express, the Horsemen, the Road Warriors. If you were a fan in the 90s, you knew Mankind, The Rock, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. If you are a fan of professional wrestling in 2006, you know and respect both Samoa Joe and Christian Cage. It's almost hard to sit here and call this contest because all you want to do, if you're really a fan of professional wrestling, is sit back and enjoy what's about to transpire. And I don't want to downplay the moment that we just saw for the very first time ever in his life, Samoa Joe held the NWA World Heavyweight Championship in his hands. No belts are on the line tonight. It's not about that. But could that be a prophecy of something to come down the line? I got a lot of Virginia peeps up here tonight or what? The peeps are out in Palmyra. I heard a couple of jackoffs over here say Joe is going to kill you. I got a lot of Joe. The only thing that's going to happen after I defend successfully, I might add the end of a world heavyweight champion. Joe is going to kiss my ass. Christian, some strong, strong words for Joe. Joe is ready to lock up Christian a little hesitant. Christian, a few years in the business longer than Samoa Joe. 
a product of Ron Hutchinson's gym in Toronto. Joe, a product of the Anoki Dojo and the UPW school out in California. Colored up a tie-up, Joe Christian tied up for the first time. And Christian having to put all of his body weight to power Samoa Joe back to the corner. Joe last night victorious in one of the most exciting matches in UWF history, that triple threat with AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. Christian victorious over the Monster Abyss, who we understand was so distraught at the loss. He took off and is not with us tonight at Palmyra. He sought solace from Father Mitchell in preparation for his world title opportunity that comes next week at lockdown. Of course, we have one incredible match before lockdown. As Joe working the arm, dropped toe hole by Christian, takes Samoa Joe back down. Christian has got to wrestle possibly the smartest match of his entire career. And he's a smart wrestler, but this has to be a stroke of genius to not only win, but survive. Christian back into the buckle. Joe is so explosive. He could unload on Christian at any moment. Went for the strike, but Christian avoids it. Just as you mentioned, he has got to wrestle smart. He has got to be elusive yet abusive, if I may use an old pun. And Samoa Joe certainly knows or what he feels his destiny could be one day, and that is the NWA World Heavyweight title. This is the first time he's ever been this close. Boy, it's an amazing atmosphere. Leapfrog by Christian, stuck to the clothesline by Joe, who plows right through Christian. Joe runs right through the NWA champion. There are times working as a play-by-play -play analyst, as a color commentator, as a ring announcer, as a writer, as a producer, that you kind of have to shill and toe the company line. This is not one of those times. I cannot tell you how genuinely excited I am to have the opportunity to call this match as excited as the nearly 1,000 fans that have turned out to Fluvanna County High School to see Joe and Christian. I know it's certainly the biggest match me and you have ever done. It's the biggest match in UWF history, bar none. And in a lot of aspects, it's the biggest match in the careers of both individuals. You've got to believe there are a lot of fans who feel that the X Division is what brought TNA to the dance. That the X Division is what epitomizes TNA more so than anything else. And for the X Division champion, as dominant as he has been his entire run in TNA, for him to put down the NWA World Heavyweight Champion would be the greatest accomplishment in the X Division's history to put a stamp on that statement and say, yes, we are the dominant brand in TNA. We are the dominant style of wrestling in TNA. For Christian to be the first man ever to beat Joe by pinfall or submission would place the emphasis back on the heavyweight, the traditional main event wrestlers. It is high stakes and at Fluvan High School, Christian's going for the Aprilia. He's going for it earlier. Just got, the, just got the coquina clutch, just got the choke. Both men jockeying for position as Christian sidesteps Joe and sends him spiraling to the outside. If, you, if we can get a shot of Christian, he is favoring that neck already. I firmly believe, just speculation, that Joe was looking to sight Christian out with the choke more so than actually put him down. I don't think he thought he had any chance of putting Christian away that soon, but to lock that choke on, even for a few seconds, would sight Christian out and that may have been successful as the look in Christian's eyes has shifted. He looks more concerned than he's ever been in this contest. And you can see by the sweat dripping off of Christian how much energy and effort it takes in just a few short minutes of action against this monster. Joe is a beast from bell to bell. There is no other way to describe it. Big chop! And the intensity on the face of Joe. Joe can absorb so much punishment though. Reversal by Joe. Christian, boot to the midsection, off the ropes again. Power slam! Oh my God, the NWA World Champion was driven right through the canvas. 
the look of intensity on the face of Samoa Joe has got jaws dropping in Savannah County High School. But Christian Cage, like so many great NWA World Heavyweight Champions in the past, so often they fought larger, stronger opposition, but the great champions always found a way to win, whether it be Funk, Flair, Steamboat, the opposition was always bigger, it was stronger. But this is where you find out how great a champion the man truly is. Joe, going below the belt a little bit proverbially and using the rope to choke Christian out. Earl Hebner right there to put the five count on. Christian gasping for air already. That cannot bode well at all for him. There is just no other way to put it. Joe is a beast from bell to bell. Outside of that atmosphere, you're liable to see him having a drink with Rick Noon in Chicago. But from bell to bell, Samoa Joe is an animal, and he is putting the right hand across the jaw of Christian Cage. Although this is a tremendous opportunity for Joe wrestling the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Let's not forget how huge of an opportunity this is for Christian, because not many people will remember the second man to beat Joe, but everyone will remember the first as Joe drives the knee. Good God, if you want hard hitting, come to Samoa Joe. Joe had that leg hook tight, but Christian slips the shoulder out. Christian still got some power to be able to pull the shoulder out from under the body weight of Samoa Joe. Of course, Christian survived a war with Abyss last night, and a war with Abyss over the past few weeks. Can his mind 110% be on Samoa Joe here tonight after everything Abyss has put him through? If there is any advantage to Samoa Joe in that department, I would say that, yeah, Christian has got to be thinking about Abyss and the personal torment. His mind may not be on the Samoan submission machine, but it needs to be or Joe will run over the NWA world champ. Some wrestlers deliver back elbows, but Samoa Joe just delivered a back elbow. Joe kicks high into the sternum. That will affect your ability to breathe. And a man that can't breathe is not that great in a fight. Chop to the gut. And now something to check. Joe pulls out the kick. My God, right in the face of Christian Cage who crumbles to the canvas. Earl Hebner with the count. This is what epitomizes professional wrestling in 2006. That's not a shill, that is a fact. Samoa Joe is in as much demand as any wrestler in the world. We are so pleased to have him in UWF and in TNA. Christian Cage was the hottest free agent in the sport some months ago and chose to come to TNA. Christian went for the dive. He committed himself to the crossbody and Joe simply steps aside. Samoa Joe watched and researched and knew exactly where Christian Cage was going, now with the cover, and once again a two count. Both men proving here tonight, like I've said in the past, there is no E in the letters T-N-A. And Samoa Joe and Christian Cage are doing exactly what great professional athletes can do. A lot of people thought Christian did the impossible when he took the NWA World Championship away from the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett. Back at the aptly named Against All Odds pay-per-view in March. Christian did not think it was impossible for a minute. He has always believed in himself. He has always believed that wrestling would eventually rise to the top and that wrestling would eventually bring him success. But he has got to find a way to out-wrestle this beast, Samoa Joe. Jeff Jarrett did indeed have a stranglehold on the NWA World Heavyweight title. Christian Cage took that from him, but can he take away the stranglehold? Samoa Joe has a professional wrestling in the X Division. Joe, up and over, Christian, no! Reverse DDT, and Joe, Joe, Joe is on the canvas for the first time in this contest. Joe is really at a disadvantage. I don't think he saw the reverse DDT coming. It was the big spike impact maneuver that Christian Cage needed. Samoa Joe trying to get back to his feet. 
Gorgeous crowd in Blue Banner. and no, they can sense that they are witnessing something special. Joe with a forearm, Christian fires right back, both men trading shots. Going back and forth, square, middle of the ring, reversal by Joe, shoots Christian off, who runs from right through Joe. Christian, surprisingly, able to take the big man off his feet. Really shocked that Christian's been able to manhandle Joe like this in the past 15 seconds or so. Joe sidesteps him again, but Christian was watching, catches Joe with the drop kick. The right boot hit the chin and the jaw of Earl Hebner right there. The right boot of Christian Cage went right through the jaw and the chin of Samoa Joe. And man, I thought we could have had a KO right there. And go to the drop. Joe puts the boot in the face. And once again, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion's back is on the mat. Took a moment before the back sits on. Christian hits one of his own. Too much hesitation on Joe's part. Christian cannot quite benefit from it. Boy, I tell you, looking around in this building, there is no one getting popcorn. There is no one getting pizza. All eyes are focused on what's going on in the ring as Christian is looking to go to the third floor. I cannot remember the last time I was this drawn into a professional wrestling contest. Samoa Joe smacks the taste out of Christian's mouth. Joe's on the ropes too. Christian is vulnerable. He's getting rocked by those forearms. He bites the forehead. He has to survive. How uncharacteristic of Christian Cage is that? Christian has been known to pull out the frog splash. But he needs to hit it. He needs to hit it quick and no one home. He did not hit it. Joe is right on top. Joe has got the choke. Joe has got the cocaine clutch. Christian. Christian gasping for air. Joe has it. Christian is trying to get to the ropes. Earl Hebner asking. This could be it right here. The oh, NWA World Heavyweight Champion. But he gets his feet on the ropes. Boy, Earl Hebner was in perfect position. Everyone came to their feet that was not already standing, but Christian has made it to the ropes. Joe had him right where he wanted him. He needs to stay on the attack, and here he comes, drives the knee into the skull. Knee strike, could it be? He takes a moment, could it be? He's setting up for it, he's got it hooked. The champ slides out of the muscle buster. He's stuck in the line. Oh my god, he hit the Uprettier! Could this be it? Did Samoa Joe make his first defeat ever in a TNA ring? Maven! Maven and Bentley! How could they? How could they ruin this great match between two of the greatest athletes in TNA? Maven and Bentley have hit the ring! They've attacked Earl Hebner! Please don't end let it end like this! This is wrong! And they've attacked Christian Cage! Maven and Bentley! Here come the Naturals! Stevens and Douglas are on top of Maven and Bentley! One of the great matches in the modern era of the NWA World Heavyweight title has completely broken down here in Palmyra, Virginia! AMW's in the ring! We've got a brawl! Samoa Joe is going back to Christian Cage! Earl Hebner has been attacked! Here comes the Fallen Angel and Sanjay! There may be 20 guys in that ring, but Samoa Joe is not going to release Christian Cage for nothing! Skipper and Young, it is breaking down! We've got a war! Joe goes over to Andy Douglas! Skipper just knocked the taste out of Daniel's mouth! Joe going right back to Christian Cage, and here comes Team 3D! 3D has hit the ring! Daniels working over Matt Bentley, 3D have got AMW and David Young! It's complete chaos here at the conclusion of this NWA World Heavyweight title match. It is absolute chaos! Joe has got the exhibition belt, and he's leaving! Mavis alone! The Naturals! Daniels, Sanjay, and 3D have got Maven by himself! This crowd is screaming for it too! Maven swore that he would not be put through the table! If this crowd has anything to say about it, he's going to be the table tonight! Harrison Storm are taking off! One second! Bubba is sending the 
Calvary to get the table. Bubba is pumped. Brother Devon, let's get the table. Daniels is standing over Maven, making sure that Mr. Hollywood doesn't go anywhere. And 3D, the Naturals, the Fall Angel of Sancho, are going to see to it that Maven eats his words. It is not a good night to be from Hollywood. Sanjay takes Billy off the apron. Maven! Super Bomb! And this crowd is going ballistic. Christian Cage is still the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. He has survived Samoa Joe, but Samoa Joe is still undefeated.